So this is uh, <clears throat> another winter camp. Back out in the army tent, I've brought with me the Klansman 320 HF military radio, proper dipole. I've got a new heater to try out, so I'm trying that little tiny little heater there. But I've bought the rocket engine as well, the air heater, just in case the little one doesn't survive the night. Um, the little ones, those ones you can get from places like Argos and those sort of cheaper shops, about 15 quid. Uh, it's got a tip over safety mechanism on it, so it uh, should be safe. I've got fire extinguisher and all that anyway. Uh, the tent is actually quite warm now. Um, the temperature outside is cold. It's quite cold. Uh, I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll put that uh, below. Um, but hopefully with the heater on, this should stay warm. The, um, I've pegged the tent out on the inside as well and I can't believe how much extra room it's given me now so I'm really getting to know the tent it's taken a few times uh, a few trips out but I'm getting to know how to really peg it out secure it down and make it comfortable uh, I've also bought this uh, tent carpet it's the first trip out with that not massively expensive um, it should give me some protection from the grass but what I have noticed by kneeling down on the ground it's drawn the uh, moisture out of the grass and it's, it's drawn it through onto my knees so I, I'm hoping that stomping around here tonight I'm not going to draw more liquid up into the inside of the tent it's going to be quite humid anyway a quite damp night anyway in the UK we tend to have this sort of um, level of humidity all year round I guess uh, and in the winter it's a pain really I don't mind cold, I don't mind dry cold environments it's the damp that's part of the problem uh, tea tonight is a slow coot lamb kleftika greek type lamb um, so I've uh, brought a few ingredients for that again in the cast iron so really the aim is just to chill out the tent make sure just start testing all this gear together because I feel that I'm getting to the point now where I can chuck all this into the Land Rover and get it set up uh, it took about an hour 45 minutes to set the whole tent up and bring the gear in the furniture in get all that all the, all of that set up so I feel that actually I'm quite pleased with the um, the the setup so it's a great ham radio tent so now I've got the tent bit sorted um, now I'm hoping to do more radio stuff in it um, I brought some extra bits of radio bits and bobs to try out tonight I'm going to try a bit of VLF using a an electric field recorder we'll try that out a bit later Let's see if that works I don't know if it's going to work or not we'll give that a go so yeah stick along and um, put the kettle on and uh, yeah let's just chill out a bit Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango uh, Mike Zero Sierra Zulu Tango Yeah, thank you very much. You're also 5973 <laughs> 
At Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Yeah, thank you very much. You are five nine seven three. <clears throat> the thing about the clansmen to dial around is um, well, it takes the energy fingers off basically. Um, there's it one or two stations on that seem to be calling for CQ, but not much else at the moment. I need to start cooking soon. The um, <clears throat> the update on the tiny little heater is. I think I'm going to struggle with it to be honest and um, purely relying on that tiny thing um, to warm it up I've got a breeze blowing through this side of the tent I've really tried to pull the um, the opening together fasten that up to try and cut down on the um, uh, on the wind blowing against the side but when it comes through it's it's biting it's very cold out there so I might have to put on the, the rocket engine and blow some hot air around a little bit. Um, and I'm hoping to try out a diesel heater next in here, see what a diesel heater can give me. And then I've got a plan then to maybe go for the wood burning stove. But I didn't want to start getting straight into wood burning until I've got the tent sorted, until I've got you know, the rest of my gear sorted in here or else I'm just going to be all over the place and then burning it all inside the the gas, uh, inside the wood stove so time to um, get the um, the cooker on, get the cast iron on and uh, slow cook this lamb right, this one's dead simple <clears throat> we're just going to do some onions I'm going to chuck in a pepper or most of it um, you can use red pepper or anything I guess what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna soften that down a bit I'm gonna chuck in a uh, half a half of that um, bulb of garlic I'm gonna sort it I think I'm just gonna break it up take the skin off and just chuck in about five or six cloves into there chuck into the chuck in the lamb Stir that round a bit. I'm going to chuck in salt, um, or, oregano, um, lemon. Um, cook that down for ages. Let the lamb just release all of its juices into the uh, flavouring. I'm going to chuck in green beans and um, a little bit of sweet potato. Look at the size of that fella. I'm going to chuck in sweet potato towards the end. Uh, so it should be mainly garlicky with a bit of herb. A bit of salt and all of the uh, lamb stock. Let's get the lid on. Let's just nudge that up by a nuts whisker. Yes. So <clears throat> this is quite, quite all wired up so just forgive me a minute. This is a, <clears throat> a VLF um, electric field reader. I'm trying to learn a little bit more about this kind of stuff but um, this is going to pick up um, on a VLF and it's going to pick up sort of the electric field. A radiation rather than radio. I've also brought with me a zoom audio recorder so what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a wander outside in a minute and I'm just going to it's going to move away from the electrics in here I, I know that this will be running some electrics itself and I'll have a torch on but I'm hoping to get away from all of this and try and pick up some natural signals rather than you know the man-made signals 
so I'm just going to get me uh, get my boots on, uh, get all the set up, I'll have a wander about. I'll take a camera with me, but I don't think you're going to see anything. You might just see blackness, and then I'll uh, come back. But we'll give it a go. Right, let's go and explore. Well, <clears throat> that was actually interesting. Um, you could hear the rain on the on the antenna, um, and then when you put it close to the ground, they pick it back up again. It will also pick up lots of um, other um, electrical signals, um, and then there's a walk around there uh, towards the truck and the power source for the tent. You could pick up that as well. So I don't, I don't quite know how to use this yet. If you've got any experience or if you know how to um, make the most out of these e, e recorder, field recorders, then please uh, comment below. But I'll, uh, I'll read up on it a bit more and uh, I'll see if we just dig into the, um, into what we want and what we're hearing a bit more. So that's it. That's it for now. I'm going to chill out for an hour or so. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more radio later, and then um, the the plan will be to actually really fasten the tent up because there is a a draft blowing through. But I'm going to peg this right down when I go to bed. Uh, I'm going to turn the rocket engine off. <clears throat> I'm going to put on the uh, smaller heater, just trying to keep the ambient temperature. Um, half decent so that's the plan so i'll uh, see you uh, in a bit maybe in the morning Mike Zero, Sierra Zulu Tango. Good morning. <clears throat> well, that was a comfortable night. Uh, it was blow freezing, but I had the little heater on, just on one bar, and that kept the ambient heat up a little bit. Uh, everywhere is still frozen at the moment. Uh, Land Rover is still frozen. I'll scrape all that off soon, but I'm in no rush to uh, head off this morning, so just enjoying the sunshine. Uh, made a couple of contacts again this morning on the early morning activity. 40 meters is very busy. Um, <clears throat> the uh, enjoyed, quite enjoyed playing with the uh, clansmen. It's good to um, at least get a few contacts on on that. Uh, I'm quite pleased with the setup. I've um, I'm getting to the point now where I've I've got this pretty much sorted. Um, I need to. I, I need a better chair. I've been using that bed that folds up into a chair, but getting in a, in and out of it because you're only about a few inches off the ground. After you've done that, 
a half dozen times, starts to get on your nerves because you have to sort of fall out of it to get up in the air. So uh, I'm going to invest in another chair. I, <clears throat> uh, I think next time I'm going to bring some uh, VHF equipment because on the handheld last night I was um, there was a lot with a lift on and there was some um, stations coming in from 50 60 miles away and this is not even it's not it's not the highest place here but the because of the openness um, you can get some long distance stuff happening so I think um, next time I come I'll bring I might bring the bigger mast I'm not sure yet I might just stick up a slim gym on the, um, the fishing pole I don't know yeah I'll sort that out next time but thank you for joining me hope you enjoyed that one and um, yeah look forward to the next adventure bye bye for now